Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 with me, Schaefer D. We're on episode 75. In this episode, we're going to make a few changes. So, as you can see, I've added this little roof here, this shared roof, which you can download from the mod up. If you go into your construction, then you can, it's by lizard, then it's a porch roof. You get different sizes. It's a neat little roof that you can place against almost any building. As you can see, it's nice and flush. And all my weird implements fits in there. So, yes, things are going good. All our pallets are spawning in the other way we want. If we go down after the saving, obviously. So within this episode, we're going to go and I think we're going to go and sleep now. Mm, if we go down to our production chains, as you can see, almost everything is where it needs to be. Nothing is running in the red for space that it's taking up. Our clothes, yes, we still need a little bit of fabric there, but the rest is looking good. Down here is where I put my stuff in. That is where... Now, if you don't know how this works, please do have a look at my previous episode, episode 74, so you can see how that works. But for now, I want to sell this lorry. It's time for us to upgrade. And then we might be selling our chocolate as well now if we quickly run over to our where the price charts are then we quickly scroll down to did i pass it already no i don't think so there's our chocolate the best it is wow now it's in jan so we've missed it that's weird i've got it written down as May. So it fluctuates. So this chart is never the same. 6,411. Well, we're in April now, so we missed it by a country mile. Ah, oh, so we need to wait a little while. Well, we've got money, as you can see, we've got 350,000 pounds. Now, we still do have that huge loan that we're sitting with. So which trailer here? As chocolatey. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Okay, so these two trailers are empty. I really wanted to sell the chocolate, but seeming that we can't sell. Um I think let's sell this lorry. Then I need to create a space here for our new pallet trailer to come in and in this episode I want to demonstrate to you how our new pallet trailer is going to look like or how it's going to work so this I can detach here that mixer I might park it over by our hayloft we'll see how that little bit goes but yeah for now let's get over to the shop Unfortunately, this lorry is not doing it for me anymore. It's a little bit lightweight, if I can put it that way. And if you pull a trailer and if you take a corner a bit too fast, then what happens is the trailer jackknives or the truck jackknives with the trailer, and it's creating huge problems for us. Now, the auto load trailer I need for the sheep, well these mirrors are really in the way there's no vehicles coming, let's head off over into the shop area quickly so then we can load our pallets, now as you can see this pallet of mineral feed is still chilling over here the one that I've lost oh, I'm on the other side of the fence, dearie me now I've downloaded the pallet mod but I still can't pick up the pallets so I don't know what's cooking in there, we'll fix it Okay, repair, 910 pounds, let's do that. Repaint, 12,288 pounds, let's do that. Because when we sell it, we get our money worth back. So, 80,252 pounds for this lorry. Sorry, my dear lorry, but now we don't own you anymore. That's gone. So, we're going to 
purchased two vehicles in here we've got all of these nice mods but we don't really need any of it at the moment I would have loved to get that 9RT but that thing is super strong 628 horse 48% discount but I can't get it at this moment um, it's not that I can't get it we can buy it but we've got two tractors already that is strong enough to pull our implements so by that being said let's head over to our trucks now this is also a very nice mod 600 horsepower but the lorry we want today is this one here a thousand eight hundred horsepower monster well this thing is a beast so I don't know what tires I'm gonna go with I think I'm gonna go with the Michelin's do look nice uh, but the Nokians also look quite nice on here well if we want grip we go with the big boys we're gonna go with twin wheels long base fenders if I change the fenders around half design painted covered covered chrome covered design which is also nice well that looks nice and chrome doesn't it I think we're gonna go with long chromes then bull bar I'm not gonna fit a bull bar because we're gonna fit something else in the front we'll see just now spotlights top large top small uh, I think we'll stick to the large big boys I don't know if there's a different in invincible well front small front large now we don't want it in the front though so I'm gonna go with top large rear spotlights I'll also leave that top large I wonder I'm gonna change it to top small because it just looks better beacon style design 8 okay let's leave it at those beacons I'm sure you can change the beacon size to small there we go that's much better attaches both that's the front attacher and as you can see I think that's a winch <laughs> or a hook and the attacher at the end if I take that off again we want that on there headlight shadows and rotate that's what we want so if you turn to the left it rotates a bit to the left exhaust style flappers angled straight pipe I think we're gonna go with the angled I just love the angled look exhaust effects we don't want any colors on the exhaust I mean we will leave it standard radiator fan silver none design color main color black white silver let's leave it with silver Road runner 790. So as you can see the horsepower is at 790. If we go for the big boy, that's a thousand eight hundred horsepower. That's what we want. Decals, we don't want any. So I'm gonna change that to none. As you can see now, there is a decal in the back. We don't want that there. Main color. Now here is where I need to choose wisely. Uh, do we have like a chrome red effect oh that looks nice design color let's go for a little bit of a darker chrome oh yeah body but doesn't that look a bit too much <laughs> uh, don't we have like a chrome okay yeah that looks much better sorry guys for those who know me yeah that's what we want roadrunner 
Unfortunately, we don't have a Roadrunner sign on our lorry, and not that I'm aware of. There's nothing written here on our lorry that I can see. Maybe I'm blind. I don't know. Okay, but boo bar, we don't have a boo bar. Rim color, I want to go with chrome. Uh, is there full chrome here? How does that look? Chrome gray. Yeah, body. The number plate we leave like that. So that's 162,850. Well, it's sold. We just purchased ourselves a brand new nice lorry. Then the trailer I want is down at Miscellaneous. You can also download this pallet auto load trailer from the mod up. Very nice piece of kit. Um, I'll show you now how it works. So the design you can go with Giants or Chrome or standard main color it's a pity here we don't have chrome now because I don't want to go John Deere color and no if you go with does it yeah it erases the main color automatically so I think I'm just gonna leave that as is we'll just see yeah we leave that with chrome so that's what we're going with I like that farming simulator look to it. So that's an additional 33,000 pounds. We just purchased ourselves an auto pallet load trailer. Well, 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 well. Well, if I don't like the color, I can always come and change it to something more subtle. Um, Yeah, maybe I should have made it like white to match our trailer. Let's see quickly. Sorry guys, what whites? I saw now that it's, no, nah, it's not fitting at all. I don't like it that much. So we will leave everything like that. Let's see what soft whites we've got there. Uh, I wonder if we put that white. Well. Wow. The rest looks so not cool. Uh, galvanized steel. No. What if we go with a little bit of a... No. Nah, this truck does not look shanana like that. I mean... Uh, no. Nah. Sorry guys. I'm going to leave it like it was, chrome light green and the bottom a chrome dark green. I think that's what we're going to stick to. So I'm just going to go out, we're going to stick to that. This is what the lorry looks like on the inside. Well, CB, radios, everything. I love how the gears change and the pedals move, okay. There's the lights, very nice and fancy. Indicator, on. Beacons, that's working, I love it. Oh, exhaust brake. Now you can switch the exhaust brake off if you really want to. Oh, it does fit the chrome color there. Look, yeah, I can hit this corner and it will not jackknife. Just to show you guys. I actually want to hit it quick around a uh, fairly, I don't want to go close to the field, I'm scared I'll see. Woohoo! 
okay, I pushed all my equipment around and scratched my new lorry. But this is a machine. Okay, now as for the trailer, I'm going to switch on the help control screen quickly. Okay, so if I hold L1 in, turn on auto lotus X, open the curtain. Now you'll see that the curtain is at the rear end. Okay, let's close that up. Then if you press R1, you can select curtain left front curtain left back so if I open it now the curtain will be in the left front same applies to if you want to open the other side if you press down while holding R1 it says curtain right front so if we go this way it opens that up same if we go with curtain right back And if you hold R1 in and press R3, it applies the straps. Okay, so let's close that up quickly. Okay, there's one thing extra that I need to check here quickly. Uh, I think it was if you hold... Turn on auto load. Turn off auto load, open curtain side, left window, right window. Uh, Alright, just give me a second guys. Sorry guys, I just then needed to swap my remotes around. So, I should actually leave that screen open for you guys to see what I'm doing. So what we'll do, R1, then we select left front. That's where we want the curtain to go. I'm going to keep it in the third person quickly just to show you. Wow, this lot has got some insane power to it. Our beacon lights is going. I just want to show you the immense power of this unit. So what we'll be doing is we'll go over here quickly. I know this is not the right way, but don't drive our, over our crops now, please, AFD. Okay, well, clearly I'm not going to get through there. Uh, yeah. Okay, there's no vehicles coming. I just love the exhaust brake on this thing. Okay, so I want to back it into here quickly. Sorry, my neighbor, I'm just going to cut across your field here quick. I want to show you guys how the auto load system works. Okay, I'll switch it on now. Let me just get my camera angle sorted out here. Yeah? Okay, so I'm going to open the curtain quickly. As you can see, it's open. And then I'm going to turn on the auto load feature, which I'm going to do now. Okay, so auto load is on so now I just need to get a little bit closer to that crop or just pull a little bit forward there we go as you've seen now I'm going to close that curtain and select curtain side to be at the rear because I need to load it from that side left back open it again so let's back this trailer up closer to this pallet here. It should start loading any second. Is my auto load? Yeah, it switched on. Why is that not loading up? Oh, there we go. Am I destroying the crops? No, not yet. But I'm certainly going to be destroying it any second now. Oh, golly. Okay, well, you get the picture. <laughs> I don't want to destroy all my crops there. So, yeah, it will work. Or oh, it works, 100%. I just need to see if I can back it in a little bit closer to 
that pallet without destroying any crops now I might be able to come on the other side of that pallet Woohoo, Schaefer D, that was cutting it close. There we go. I know the loading site was on the other side, but as long as you've got that option on. Okay, R1, apply the straps. It's strapped in there. So we've got 7,961 liters in there so I'm switching off the there's no vehicles coming I just want to show you how strong now I'm gonna remove the help control screen quickly how strong this vehicle is I mean it is a nice vehicle to have a thousand eight hundred horses look at that it's just climbing no problem at all. Now I know that's not a lot of liters in there. Let's go this way. Now what I love about this vehicle is it shows you on the dashboard that your beacon lights are on. So you don't have to constantly go outside to view. I'm going to quickly pull over here. Okay, That's the headlights. That's the beacon light on your dashboard as you can see. Beacon lights off. Now if I go to the outside and zoom in, you'll see the beacon lights are off. So if I switch the beacons on, it's on now. That's one of the features that I just absolutely love about this vehicle. Now in my mirrors I can't see any vehicles coming yet. So the beacon lights are on now. As you can see on the dashboard. Need to turn a little bit wide in here because of this. Oh this vehicle is so nice. Please do let me know if the exhaust brakes is a bit loud for the videos then I can just adjust the volume of that oh okay, I didn't see that it looks like greenish okay so yeah I'm gonna go outside view quickly well Okay, yeah, you just pull in onto that, it should start removing the pallets automatically. Yes, it is. The doors will open on its own. That will load into our spinnery. Boom. It will also close on its own. Wow, that's so nice. Okay, so let's back this out of here. Now I have found that this yard is a bit small, so sometimes you have to cut across the grass here just to get out of here. So I'm going to drive back in first person view. Once we get back to the farm, you see that money up there? That's going out the door because I need to pay the loan back. Um, the chocolates here, yeah, unfortunately I missed the selling date for that. So what we will do is as soon as we hit January, then I'm sure we will have a lot of chocolate pallets in there. Then we will load up everything into this trailer. I can see a little bit out that window, the rear window. I love the windows of this. This is much better than our previous lorry we had. As you can see, as soon as you switch on cruise control, on the display it comes on. That C, the blue C, now I'm going to disable it. It's off now. It's enabled again. 
disabled. So that there's so many nice features within this lorry that I absolutely love. So what I want to do is I want to see by the shop if I can quickly back in there just to get that one pallet. Now if you've got this lorry, who needs any other lorry? I mean, a thousand eight hundred horses. <laughs> That's no child's play, that. Okay, let's turn into here. There's no vehicles coming. I'm going to go third person just to clear that one pallet out of there quickly. Hopefully this will load. I'm not too sure. Okay, turn on auto load. Which side is it opening? Yeah, it's opening on the right side. The side that I want. Now, it's at the back, so I'm not sure if it's going to load that pallet. I'm going to reverse in here a little bit skew-ish. Oh, it went. As you can see, it started loading and I pulled out. There it goes. It's loading the one pallet in there. It's done loading the pallet, so we can close that up, switch that off, strap it down. So now we can get down to our cow husbandry quickly because I just need to check in there to see. Luckily all our spawn pallets, now we can spawn more than 50 pallets. It's not a problem. It's not a big headache. So this episode is solely based on the fact that we got our new lorry. Well, wow, that was a bit wide of me. Go a little bit more straight Schaefer D without eating the wall there. Did we clear? Yeah, we in. Let's wait. Oh, we're in the same <laughs> lane as the car. Sorry car. That was my bad. Okay, so I'm going to go third person again just to get this offloaded. Our grass is getting the... Wow. Things are happening. Now, yeah, I'm not too sure for you haven't seen the episode of me doing the cow husbandry if I pull in really close like that will it offload I mean the pallet is there it's not detecting it's there but it is there or was I come here with a forklift to offload Okay. No, it seems like I'll have to come here with our forklift, which is also not a big problem. I just want to see if I back this out and I back it into that area. Will it take? Well, so far the auto feeding system is keeping our cows fed. I must actually check how many cows do we have at the moment. <laughs> I don't think it's going to take it automatically from here because I think the pallet might be a little bit too high off the floor oh there it takes it, ok what a nice deal this truck surely is fast, 160 kilometers an hour, wow and we've got a lot of horsepower under it, so I'm quite happy with this vehicle. It's something that I needed to upgrade because our previous lorry, no, nah, that was a big problem for me. So we're turning in here. Well, but I drive all the way with the curtains open, so that's it for our new lorry. Well, as you can see, it looks phenomenal. I love it. Um, I don't know a few people might disagree with me on this one, but I think it's awesome. Now the only problem I've got is I need to make space for it. So I might 
hook these two trailers up together move it up here and pull the truck over here to get that trailer in here but I'll shift this around off screen so it's not a big problem just gonna switch it off here quickly switch off all the lights beacons off what a nice piece of kit so on that note I'm gonna go over to our cow husbandry quickly still on 45 cows why is that though okay, our cows the feed is still full because the robot keeps it full for us the only thing that I need to tend to is straw but it's not a big problem reproduction I don't know 60 months I don't know if it might be because of the age of the cows uh, but I'll still give them a bit of time our chickens is full which is quite nice our uh, sheep is getting there I'm really thinking of adding another sheep pen on it if we quickly go to our uh, the clothing should still be going yeah it's still generating so where is our we just dropped the wool off so we're sitting on 28,097 liters of wool which is amazing and still I love the auto robotic system as you can see the TMR is full so for those who have missed this episode or the previous episode you put your mineral feed in here as you can see mineral feed we've got 8476 liters in there then every hour this unit here the lily kicks in it comes over it grabs a bucket load and puts it into the robot of silage then it comes and comes back again and grabs some straw puts it back into the robot then it grabs hay puts it back into the robot then the robot comes out drives around here and it puts in the TMR here and then it goes back in so that happens every hour let's see how our grass looks because we need more hay and stuff added onto that still growing I don't know well I need to service these units maybe I must just service both the John Deere's quickly before our uh, pay the bank because it's something I need to do uh, let's just park that over here then we go fetch the other John Deere quickly well this is also in dire need of a proper service so yeah this episode was solely about our lorry that we got I mean we needed a new lorry none of you can cry about it because Everybody's like, but why do you need a little lorry? The other lorry did not live up to my expectations. Sorry guys, but that's just how it is. Okay, so the front weight we're going to repair for 16 pounds. The tractor itself, 128 months old. Crikey. The repair is 14,567 pounds. We need to repair it. 16,384 pounds. Well, we need to invest in new tractors here. Yikes. That was a lot of money down the drain now. Not actually down the drain. We do need to repair our equipment as we go on. So as I use the implements, I've said it before, but I didn't have money to maintain it. If we get past our point where we can service after using the implement we'll surely do that so here's the loan we've got 905,000 pounds we've got 190,000 so I'm gonna repay it until I'm like at 15,000 pounds because I mean that's money that we got in there 20,000 pounds enough for us for now so we're still sitting with 735 as the cows produce milk we will sell the milk and yeah it's just going to be the milk for now we will sell all the milk off unfortunately in this episode we can't sell anything else because everything is in the wrong month so just let's just have a look at it 
The first thing I've got on my list is chocolate, which we've seen now is the best in Jan, unfortunately. Cake is also, I think, in January. Where is the cake at? Our cake is in September or Jan. We'll just check September again and make sure. Let me just note that the cake is there or in September. Our sunflower oil, I think we've sold it. It shows nothing is there, but we do have in our new warehouse. Sunflower oil is in March. I think we've sold that in the previous episode. Yes, we did. Milk. Uh, milk should be up there. Sorry guys, but I just want to show you what I'm dealing with. It's in September or Jan. One of those two again. Um, let me just change it here. September or Jan. Oh, honey, I'm supplying straight to our uh, to our bakery. I got just got lots for words. Eh? Lost for words. Okay, so furniture is the next one. I just want to go through with you guys and show you that furniture is in June. Well, that changed. I don't know why it changed so much, but I don't even know how many liters of furniture we've got left, but I'll just go make sure of it. Eggs I don't sell anymore because we're supplying our bakery. Clothing. I think we sold it. No, we haven't sold clothing. I don't think so. Maybe I did. Clothing was in April. Yes, then we've sold it. And that's what we've got to sell. So if I run over here quickly. I'm not sure if we've got clothes left. I don't know if I've sold it. But I'm almost certain I did. If we look in there. Clothing. 695. Yes, we've sold it. So unfortunately that we don't have anymore. <laughs> 695 liters, that's what we've got. So the next one, sunflower oil we've also sold. That's gone. Milk we've, we don't have. Furniture. Mm, I don't think. Yeah, we've got 9,103. So we can sell that in June. So we'll we'll have a look at that. But that's going to conclude this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please do click on the like button. If you want to leave a comment, please be my guest. If you want to share this video, please feel free to do so. Please do not forget to click on that subscribe button. I'll really appreciate it a lot. That's it for this episode, everybody. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Cheers.